It is the 12th of January. In just hours from now, Taiwan will be going to the polls. Over 19 million Taiwanese citizens will be casting their votes in an election that will not only determine Taiwan's future, but also have a deep impact on the tensions between China and the U.S. But the big question that is buzzing in Taipei and Washington is this. Will Taiwan's election results trigger another war, a war in Asia? You see, China has for long been preparing for a long-term conflict with the U.S. over Taiwan. In fact, in his New Year's address itself, Chinese President Xi Jinping stated that Taiwan would surely be reunited with China. He is hoping to install a pro-China government in Taiwan run by the KMT. And by doing so, he plans to further infringe on Taiwan's autonomy. But... What if things do not go in China's favor? What if the CCP fails to install a pro-Beijing government? Could this trigger a war? This question's relevance increases when you basically look at who the KMT is up against. They are fighting the Democratic Progressive Party's Lai ching te who is leading the polls. He has often been described as a more outspoken advocate of Taiwanese independence, especially when compared to his predecessor, the outgoing Tsai Ing-wen, who took a more diplomatic approach. For Beijing, any shift from the status quo or even a pro-independence push is likely to be seen as a prompt for military action. Because a formal declaration of independence is a red line, it will not let Taiwan cross. In fact, this is what the PLA said in a recent statement. Let me quote. The Chinese People's Liberation Army maintains high vigilance at all times and will take all necessary measures to firmly crush Taiwan independence attempts of all forms. Back in Taipei, these fears have led to a huddle the people are preparing for a doomsday scenario, a scenario where Chinese troops invade Taiwan or worse, attack Taiwan's cyber infrastructure to disconnect the island from the world. So Taiwan's leaders are not taking any chances because the threat is very much real. According to reports, Taiwanese authorities have claimed that government agencies face an estimated 5 million cyber attacks daily. In fact, the cybersecurity firm Fortinet says that it recorded an 80% increase in cyber attacks in the first half of 2023. And this makes Taiwan the number one target in Asia Pacific when it comes to cyber attacks. And who is conducting these attacks? Who else but China? Last year, Microsoft flagged a threat from a group named Flax Typhoon. This group operates out of China and targets Taiwanese agencies. Not only government agencies, but also its semiconductor industry. Companies that are crucial for the supply of chips and form the lifeline of the global economy. In fact, they control more than half of the world's chip output. Chinese state-sponsored groups have been trying to cripple these companies to inflict damage on Taiwan's global standing. Is this all the beginning of something big? Are these actions linked to a larger plan? Are they methods for a full-scale invasion? And if yes, what will the worst-case scenario really be? Well, here's what Taiwan's digital minister has said in a statement. Because Taiwan is an island, all communication with the outside world relies on undersea cables. The worst case scenario is all our undersea cables are cut off. He further added that if this happens, Taiwan will look to the sky, meaning it will utilize satellite services to keep its communication system thriving. I'm quoting again, satellite receivers will be placed in 700 spots across Taiwan to test whether we can switch communication systems. The first thing is to maintain the stability of the government's command system and maintain the accuracy of the information provided. So Taiwan is preparing for all possible scenarios. It is preparing for China to launch a ground invasion. The question is, Will China do what it has threatened to do for so long? 
We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.